The long-awaited announcement on the future of the controversial Tamar Valley pulp mill has been delayed yet again. Tasmanian timber company Guns has been in a month-long trading suspension as it continues negotiations on a $400 million capital raising plan. Details of the deal will be announced to the stock exchange next week, with predictions a Chinese investor could come forward, as Emily Stewart reports. Guns Limited's future hangs in the balance as it waits on funding for the controversial Bell Bay pulp mill. Well, look, I've uh, monitored and watched and reported on pulp mills from all over the world for, for many years now and uh, I've never seen a mill development or project take this long. The project has been dogged by protests and politics for years, but the company received final approval from the federal government last March. So far, it's been unable to raise the funds to build the $2.3 billion project. The Singapore-based Richard Chandler Corporation was to invest $280 million, but that fell over last month. And after a four-week trading suspension, Guns has further delayed announcing any details of its equity raising until next week. Most of the Europeans who would have been interested in investing in it um, have probably been here, had a look and uh, moved on. So I would expect at this stage they'd be looking for the, uh, for the Asian buyers of pulp who would be looking to have some form of joint venture or interest in the mill. Analyst Matthew Terenius agrees. He says the biggest demand for pulp comes from China, so the deal would provide synergies for a Chinese investor. One of the uh, advantages that, uh, that Guns does have is it does have a very good uh, plantation base with which to work off. And that is going to be attractive to a joint venture partner. There are four other pulp mills in the planning or development stage around the world, and some have raised concerns this may lead to an oversupply in pulp. But Robert Eastman says demand from China far outweighs the potential supply. You're only talking at the end of the day probably about 3 or 4% of global supply coming from these new mills. So proportionally, it'll still be a small amount. The company is also facing headwinds from the competitive wood chip market and the high Australian dollar. The biggest issue for guns uh, uh, has been one of uh, cash flow. Uh, the strong Aussie dollar has impacted their wood chip markets. We've seen a uh, decrease in building activity on the eastern seaboard. That's impacted its building products division. So it hasn't been an easy time for guns. And more publicity it could do without. On the day its capital raising details will be released to the market, former guns chairman John Gay will face his first day in the Supreme Court on insider trading charges.